Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you one tip for tomorrow's racing. Now before we get into that I quickly just want to go through a couple of things with you. Now first of all if you haven't listened to the latest episode of the In The Saddle podcast where I was joined by Mark Horowski who will be on the Racing Post Live tomorrow and also as well Steve Shanks. You might be familiar with Steve's work on Twitter where he's known as The Right Man and also as well he's appeared with me on a few Hong Kong previews of late so uh, yeah if you're a fan of his work as well make sure you check out the latest episode of the in the saddle podcast where we preview this weekend's racing taking a look at some of the action from new market and newbury so whichever podcast platform you like whether it's apple spotify or soundcloud just hit one of those links in the description box below also as well quickly just want to reflect on how our selections performed today in the end it was a good day here on the youtube channel as we had two winners at some nice prices my long shot was definitely the most impressive winner of the day that was surrey gold absolutely bolted up for David Egan and Huey Morrison. I think it won by seven lengths in the end, but it could have been more. Very impressive win by that horse. I thought it was well handicapped, and clearly it was today, and uh, was advertised at 10 to 1 last night, and was very well supported in the market as kind of the second favourite for the race. So, hope some of you were able to get on at some big prices there. And the other horse that was a winner for us was uh, Master uh, of the Stars uh, for Ed Dunlop. Now, that one was awarded it in the stewards' room. He was badly inconvenienced a few times by Sylvester D'Souza on good birthday, but uh, luckily in our, uh, we, we got the decision in our favour. You don't always get it in your favour, but when it's a horse at 7-1, to one, that's always an added bonus as well. So, yeah, two good results for us. The other disappointments that ran for us today were Snow Lantern, disappointing in the end not sure what the excuse was uh, maybe she is still inexperienced you know but maybe not quite one to give up on yet so Ron Priestley maybe his recent run just caught up with him and maybe he just wanted slightly faster ground and could be better over a mile and a half interesting to see where he goes next and then the other tip that ran for us was Bar Bill uh, to Newbury who just couldn't get into the race but on the whole it's been a good day not been in bad form the last few days yesterday wasn't a bad day for us we had a nap winner and also as well Tuesday we had the nap and next best double so not been going along too bad recently and fingers crossed we can take that form into tomorrow and like I said at the top of the video just one tip for tomorrow I think you're going to get a lot of freak results due to the weather it's going to be raining in lots of parts of the country but there will be some parts that will miss it as well so it's hard to know what the ground conditions are going to be like but I think at Newmarket it will at least be on the soft side and I'm confident my horse will be able to handle conditions that I'm putting up and it's going to be running in the 205 at Newmarket the listed fairway stakes and I thought uh, Tasman Bay for David Probert and Sir Mark Todd could have a real live chance here currently available at six to one at the time recording and I'm going to recommend a one point win bet as my nap of the day now this horse is still likely rare he's only three starts but I think he's been improving on every run to be honest with you and his last effort when he finished third at uh, Newbury in a conditions race has worked out really well he ran behind Hurricane Lane who was the Dante winner the second place horse that day was Sir Michael Stout who ran for Sir Michael Stout was maximal um, that was a good run by him at Chester last week so that form has been boosted and also as well River Alwyn for Richard Hannon won a, a decent handicap at Newmarket off the big weight so a lot of good form lines come in there and I think this horse does have a chance tomorrow now he is rated 97 and he will have to find a little bit more to beat the likes of Fancy Man but Fancy Man who's current favourite for Richard Hannon will have to give him a bit of weight it has to give him four pounds and that might just make the difference here also as well I think if the, the ground does go on the soft side I think it won't be an issue for him he ran okay on his debut on heavy ground at uh, at uh, Newbury. I don't think he'll want it absolutely bottomless, but I think if it does turn soft, it should be okay for him. He's actually got uh, quite a few uh, soft uh, ground uh, winners in his pedigree. He's, he's a half-brother to a listed French winner that won on soft ground, and when that's soft, uh, it really can be. So, yeah, I think um, the ground shouldn't be an issue for him tomorrow. He's by La half, and the mayor's side of the family seems to handle cuts. So I don't think that would be an issue, but yeah, I think this horse is slightly underrated here and has put some decent efforts in together. One at Newcastle as well when he broke his maiden tag beating a fair yardstick in King Vega for Andrew Bolden so a lot of nice things next to his name and I think he's a little bit overpriced in here and at six to one I'm going to take a chance on him as my nap of the day but yeah this is a shorter video than normal but like I said I, I think we're going to have quite a few uh, freak results tomorrow but yeah that's it for uh, 
tomorrow's racing. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loaders 15. If you want to follow me on social media, the place to do so is on Twitter. And that's the only place you can follow me on social media where my handle is at Lucky Loader 15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website address is www.chrisloaderracing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have a winning lap tomorrow and we'll be seeing you soon.